Hi, I'm Amy Randrup with Red Hair Productions, and today we're going to make a meatloaf. Got my gravy, got my mashed potatoes, so I just need the meatloaf. If you want uh, ground beef, uh, Italian sausage, I use a mild Italian sausage, and ground chicken. I also have some oatmeal, breadcrumbs, a little bit of milk, a little bit of garlic, black pepper, salt, parsley, some minced onion, and chopped mushroom, a little bit of thyme, and one egg. Those are going to be your ingredients for the meatloaf. And the mushrooms is about half an onion, minced. It's about half of a cup of oatmeal. Some breadcrumbs. I'm going to start with one egg. I may add another egg. Ingredients in meatloaf is not rocket science. Just add. Thyme, black pepper, parsley. Salt. And garlic. And some milk. And here's the icky part. You have to mix meatloaf by hand. And the best way is to punch it. That sausage needs to be evenly mixed throughout the ground beef and ground chicken. Make a loaf. Well, maybe make a ball. Pat it all smooth. I lightly grease the bottom. I don't, it depends on your fat content of your ground beef on whether or not you need to lightly grease the bottom. Our ground beef is pretty lean, so I like to just lightly grease the bottom so it doesn't stick. Then you just shape. Obviously it's going to take longer if it's thicker, so if you flatten it out you can cook it a little less. Clean off your hands and add them to the loaf. So you're going to set your oven three or uh, 375. Place it in the oven and bake it for about an hour. So the meatloaf's been in for about an hour now. It's not done, but it's got a nice good golden brown on it. <laughs> and this is where I top it with a little tomato sauce. And just put a light coat. And put it back in the oven for about another half hour. Okay, so another half hour in. I actually also cut it in half just to check the middle. It's a good idea. You want to make sure that your meatloaf is cooked through. You don't want any red in the middle.